The pastors of the Tanzanian Advent Christian Conference obediently answered the challenge to go and take the gospel to the unreached Hadzabi tribe living in the Serengeti wilderness. But there would be numerous challenges to their going. The Hadzabi were unreached for good reason. In fact, very little effort had been put forth to take the gospel to this tribe. The reasons for this were many. The challenging environment on the fringes of the Serengeti, fear of the unpredictable reception a visitor may receive, the costly effort it takes to reach such a small number of people, the challenge of translation, the fear the Hadzabi have of catching human transmitted diseases, and the challenge of finding them. Even traveling to the Hadzabi was time consuming, costly, and difficult, as Pastor Johnson Adoyu shares. To travel to Mwanza, to the Hadzabi village, it takes almost three days of traveling. We use three vehicles to reach the Hadzabi village. First, from Gwanza to Arusha, we use the normal buses. Then from Arusha town to Karatu, Mangola, there are special vehicles because the roads are not in good condition. Then from Karatu, Mangola to the Hadzabi in the bush, there are other vehicles that are used. Those vehicles have a limitation. So there is a place they must park and we'll walk the rest of the way. Travel was a hardship and one of the pastors became sick on the journey and had to return home before reaching the Hadzabi. Perhaps the bigger problem was the Hadzabi's distrust of outsiders. As Pastor Johnson observes, They don't trust people. They never trust the way we are unless you find favor. This distrust of outsiders had even led to violent attacks in the past on people who tried to meet and minister to the Hadzabi. This was a very real fear the evangelist had, as Pastor Amos recounts. We heard that they were killing people and that they do not want people going to them. Also, we heard that it is not easy to reach them. The journey was safe, but it was very far and the roads were not good. So it brings some challenges to you physically when you are so tired. My body became weak because of fear, but God strengthened me to be able to continue. Ultimately, the missionary pastors trusted in God's faithfulness and strength to protect them and to give them success. Pastor Festus expresses it well. I felt peace inside of me because we were fulfilling God's mission to reach all the peoples in all corners of the world, especially the Hadzabi people who were never reached. These faithful pastors knew that the Hadzabi had not heard the gospel and that they could not hear the gospel unless someone went to share it. So, despite the dangers and difficulties, they went to take the gospel to a tribe of people who had never heard the good news of Jesus.